And, and welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I want to explain some things and make sense of some things if it's okay today. Um, first of all, with this matter of April's husband texting me, first of all, I never talked to April about those text messages. I just figured, hey, maybe he was having a drunken night, drunken nights, whatever. And it wasn't that deep. They all the way somewhere else. I knew I wasn't going to meet a husband. I knew I wasn't interested in a husband. And I also know how he treat her. So I sure wasn't interested. Okay. So when I said it and and, and for and they went to try to do damage control about her husband. Um, as you notice, I write in regular folks. Um, what they call it? I don't write at all my words in capital. April writes all of her words in capital when she texts. When she texts you, all of them. I don't, she does. Those messages from her husband to me were all in caps. So that's what makes me feel like, first of all, you claim somebody else got the same messages from your husband that I got. That's weird as hell on YouTube. How could another YouTuber get the same messages from your husband that I got? But what it does prove is I won't lie on you. That's what it proves, number one. Thank you so much for vindicating me because I don't have to lie. So when you did that, it just let everybody know if I made one line, she thought she did get the messages from your husband. But after thinking about it and looking at it again and noticing you write all your crap in caps and all the stuff from your husband came to me in caps, that wasn't nobody but you. Now, what type of sneaky woman would befriend somebody and try to trick them into thinking that they husband texting you? Who does that? What? Who does that? You know why she did that, y'all? Because she messy. You know why else she did that, y'all? Because she was hoping I would take the bait. She was hoping I would converse with her. It was a setup, clearly. She set me up. But she didn't want to look stupid because you found out I don't want your damn husband. Why would I want your husband after you tell me how you beat the shit out of you? Oh, I know. I want a black eye, too. That's why. That's why. That's why. I, you, you, you thought I would want your husband because I want black ass too. Come on, dude. Step your game up. Step your game up with that dumb shit. Excuse me for cussing, y'all. I'm gonna go back to not cussing. I, I am. I'm gonna go back to not cussing. I'm not gonna let these people make me cuss. But do y'all see the games that they play? Why would you do that? Why would you try to trick me by sending me? So since I know you're that type of woman that would do that to me, which I had never done anything to you. But you tried to trick me into thinking your husband wanted me so I could take the bait. And guess what Five Day told him? God bless you. Hope she feel better. Hope y'all all right. Like, I'm not on that. Child, let me move right along. You know, my husband gave me a black eye. Girl, you really reached for it. But let me ask you. Why you won't show the text message of what my husband mm -hmm. sent you? Why won't you? Why you won't show the text messages? Why you wouldn't show that text message? You say it's in all caps, which I know better. I know it's not. Why won't you show that text message word for word, chick, what my husband sent you? Because, bitch, you really thought you were the only one. You really thought my husband was hitting on you, bitch. Really? Lo and behold, I was sick as a dog. Worried about your dumb ass. I included you. I was really worried about my main, my day one babies. But you were my baby too. And I included you and I wanted you to know I was sick. Mm -hmm. 
But you told everybody she faked it. You called me. And I said, yeah, I, um, I made sure um, Frank text y'all and let y'all know I was sick because I didn't want y'all to think I had left y'all hanging. And you said, oh, yeah, auntie, he, he texted me. That's what you said. And you got the same picture of my dogs around me. Um, if he hollering at you, when he going to send you a picture of my dogs protecting me? Because they wouldn't get out the bed. But then you even read on your own live. I said, I will be praying for her. Tell April I'll be praying for her. So you're praying for me and my husband just hollered at you. But who does that? What you was holding that for? Or did, did you not have nothing and you just wanted to concoct that lie because Sean was talking about the married man syndrome and you made that up right away? But you didn't know. Six of my babies got that text message because I was sick. You thought you was the only one. Really? Really? Well, that's side chick mentality. I ain't got nothing on that. I don't have nothing on that, baby. Do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. I was a friend to you, sweetie. Just like everybody else. And when I go hard, I go hard for my friends. But I just, I have to lay this out so y'all can see what type of person we dealing with. We are dealing with a person that sets traps for their quote unquote friends. Just like she's doing for the king. That's enough. Because, see, you're always talking out of both sides of your ass. But I understand that side chick mentality. Because you just showed everybody you a side chick. So, whatever. Then, the next lie was, when Sean put the thing about the married man, it had nothing to do with you, dumbass. We, <laughs> it had nothing to do with your dumbass. That was about somebody else. We was going to be a whole, we were going a whole different direction. But you got nervous, lost your fucking mind because you were guilty. And it is what it is. And you told on yourself. Sean is still my little brother. He still love me and I still love him. Heidi is streaming. This is March 24th. She wants dates or whatever. Heidi is streaming. Sean's live on her channel. She's talking about you. I'm ready for whatever. I said, whenever, boo. Let's go. She's on Snowfly's page. I said, she got me blocked. We'll, we'll go live tomorrow. And she blocked me on both pages. 
March 24th and is it still lit up? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. March 24th and So, um, you were upset with Heidi and me being your auntie. All those pictures about Heidi were on her own Instagram, and she know they're on her Instagram. That's public. Mm. 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 But I thought you weren't talking about Heidi. But look, this is April talking about horny in Vegas. Because once again, none of Sean's people was over there hollering, ooh, we don't want to go to Vegas because of Corny. That was a lie. But April created that and got in Sean's ear. Sean, listen, she's trying to mess up your money. People not coming to Vegas because of Corny. And that was not ever true. Let me show you what she said. Because she was very pressed by it. Look what she said. Corny live showing the effing pic from Sean heavy hitters. Now they Sean heavy hitters. On March 7th, they were you and Sean's heavy hitters. Shaking my F head. Wow. So she's showing, so she's showing she got pics. This dumb B, I'm gonna make sure y'all can see it. This B dumb, I can't read like that. Um, this B dumb AF, you're admitting to a crime now. Don't you say ish. Let this H sink herself. And Sean don't want to admit it. He effed up with this B. But oh wait. Come on, Snooky Bookie. Come on, girl. Let me give you my attention, girl. <laughs> she will go in her own troll pages and say, I'm not coming to Vegas next year because of money. On purpose. This is what trolls do. This is this how they work. She would do that. And created that narrative and lied. There may have been four, five folks on that whole trip that one going, maybe thinking because of corny, if that many. But by the time April got finished with Sean, one no, no, I'm gonna show up to the pink panty dough in the pink vagina. One no, but it Cause see, the truth is, April can't afford to go. That's the problem. She be mad at corny because corny could take flights and can go to Vegas. April do all that caping for Sean and he won't even pay her way to Vegas. <laughs> He may do it now, now that I have said something. But let's move right along with more receipts. Girl, please. Please. <laughs> anyway, money means stuff to you, not me. Let's go right and jump right on into this nigga gay. Let's get to that, because this is what she said. Now, I ain't what I said. This is what she said. Let's get right on to this nigga gay. Mmm. Mmm. And sent a clip of him bitching and moaning. This nigga is gay. I know it's a bit much. I know it's a bit much. This nigga is gay. Ugh. What? What? Ugh. What? Ugh. Not this nigga messy. Ugh. Not this nigga dumb. Ugh. This nigga gay. Ugh. Now. It says, it says, this nigga gay. Oh, this nigga gay. Oh, so let me show you now. She said that was Sean, right? You see, y'all see the link? She said that was Sean. I'm gonna click on the link for y'all. It say connect. Does that look like Sean to y'all? Does that look like Sean to y'all? And this nigga is gay. Oh, because he's so fine, so ripped, so built. He's gay, though. He don't want women. God damn it. I could. Mm. Oh, well. Duh. And she says right there. Hold on, hold on. What, 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 what is that? What she said that? Oh, back up, back up, back up. Come on, show. Oh, shit. Hold on. Phone went off. Hold on. 
and she says, girl, I know about Walter Hampton. He a whole mess. I thought I was calling Sean Gay. I thought I was saying, ill. If I'm not mistaken, that's, oh. And there's a link. Mm, okay. See, when I be over here telling y'all that a lot of them over there don't like him, I'm not lying to y'all. This woman has gone in on Sean. Let me, let me show y'all, let me show you another one. Watch this. Look. And I'm going to click on the video while you're watching. You see this? This is her. She said, you said it. See, I had been peeping, I had been peeping that Sean gets real butthurt. And every time he say he going on vacation, that nigga, he can't stay off the, the internet, off of YouTube because... He weak and it's really his life. So I told her one weekend, and you can go check it out, March 23rd. Go back and look at his video and see if that's when he said he was going on vacation and not going to be on YouTube and his ass was. And being the prophetess that I am, I told on site, I said, on site, don't believe that. The dusty ass king is going to be right here on the tube. So let's see. And look, I didn't send myself this clip of him being there. She did. So let's look at the video. We're going to click on it together and see who pops up when she says, you said it. Who are you talking about? Who? Oh, 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 right, you guys. oh, oh. Competition stops for a minute. Uh, this video is not part of the competition. Nigga, you're supposed to be on vacation. Talk about the comp. for me this is that video this is that part see Rita came for you I didn't respond and then she said Sean changed what he said do you see that she said Sean changed what he said he want you to she was trying to say he wants you to do something nope because if he comes for you it's not gonna look good and that's when I was like huh I'm like, what are you talking about? If Sean come for me, see, this is the bullshit. She trying to say he want me to come for Heidi. Because she was saying Heidi was tearing his ass. Last time they tried to say, mm, what did that prove? What did that prove? Bitch, it proved she was bringing Rita's name up when one nobody even thinking about Rita but her. That's what it proves. It proves this is how these snakes maneuver. They start on you months before you even realize them hoes on to you, okay? I told her Deanna was live and I saw her Deanna thing. What does it mean when... People have white stuff in the corners of their mouth. Look at Rita. Because y'all know I type in all caps, right? Do y'all see that? Who was talking about Rita? I asked you. Rita came for you? <laughs> okay. Let me tell you something about B. Ramsey. And I got to make sure I tell y'all about why Corny is going to continue to get the receipt. From the kind that she's gonna get. Okay. Let me tell you something about bald head ass Ram. Look, let me tell you. One night, the Kang had a call in. And in true Kang form, he had all the women on the phone arguing with each other. So on that phone was Kwani, D. Ramsey, and on site April. Okay? Now, on-site April, Ben got in B. Ramsey's ear as soon as Sean shouted D. Ramsey out. On-site April took off, because that's all she needs to see. Once she see that the Kang shouts you out, she try to get close to you. She won't even fool with you until the Kang shouts you out. So the Kang had shout D. Ramsey out, and on-site April immediately got to hook up with her, got to hook up with her, okay? So, honey, I don't know if she emailed her, called her, went behind the scenes like she did my mind the truth and got in her ear. I don't know what she did. But by the time they got on this call with Sean Bradley, April had it so Hart and B. Ramsey were on one accord against Quanny, okay? Because, see, she wanted all of us to be on her side against Quanny because then that would turn Sean. It's all a bunch of manipulation crap.
sprays and shit. And that's why I'm so glad I don't get this type of stuff no more on my phone. I don't. Um, so by the time they got on that phone with Sean, D. Ramsey, Onside April, and Kwani, Onside April had already let D. Ramsey know, look, we ain't on that with Kwani. But when they got on the phone with Kwani and was reading Kwani, D. Ramsey and Onside April was reading Kwani, and y'all remember this, some of y'all. Sean sat at his computer like this. He didn't crack a smile. He sat there like this. That was his way of letting them bras know the Kang ain't approving. You know how the little kids sing in the church choir, and the whole time they sing, they looking over at the pastor to see if he approved, and if the pastor ain't approving, they be feeling, that's how they was. So they could see him on their phone looking at, them, looking, at the, looking at the computer like this. And they both, D. Ramsey and on site April, were highly pissed off at Sean. They were embarrassed. They felt embarrassed because there's always this women fighting for this man's damn attention. And in that moment, the king was supposed to acknowledge that Mick Gruff over there, uh, yeah, my, 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 uh, my little bro, blah, blah, blah. the king was supposed to acknowledge all that shit in her throat, and he wasn't doing it. And me and D. Ramsey talked on the phone. Bitch, I was on the phone and D. Ramsey called in. You, you know, and I'm finna go, but you know what makes you such a weak, dumb whore? And when I knew it, but... The reason why when you go live, I would want to know because you make yourself like a dumbass. This but guess what, Susie? Um, um, can I push my titties down like hers? I don't think I could get my titties that flat. My titties won't go down. But anyway, anyway. Guess what, Susie? Apocalypse been over here in my TM in my Gmail. And Apocalypse was my mo, my mo, bitch. After that live, Susie went live and they go Apocalypse with a wrench sitting right in Susie's live. She sunk them. That's why you needed my help. That bitch would have ran circles around your dumb ass. Dummy. Then you even wrenched and moderated. Another bitch that was for Susie. That's why she fucked up the live. And I was like, damn, this motherfucker. Would you call me before you go live and let me know what you're talking about so you don't look stupid? But, you know, you said, you, hey, you do your thing, baby. Do your thing. So when he sat there stone-faced like this, she called him. He ain't never did me like that. He ain't never not laughed at my rocks and gags. He ain't never did me like that. So the king got to laugh at with y'all for y'all to feel his love. Girl, please. Anyway. In the words of Kwani. Really, bitch? That's when she took a hiatus. Because she felt salty. Talking about she was sick. She wasn't sick at that time. She felt salty. Every time Sean makes her feel little, just like them other women that need his approval, they run away. They run away. Now, why is the king so respectful? Respectful of Kwani. Why is it that the Quan, the Queen would never really fully put his foot all the way up in her arse? Why is that, y'all? Y'all wanna know why? Y'all wanna know why? <laughs> Let me tell you what me and on site April love. The kind with his messy ass has talked so much shit about April. About B. Ramsey, about me, about Yale, about so many of us. And a lot of his secrets, especially pertaining to the dog shit he say about them people that really ride for him. Like outspoken one and them like that. The stuff he really say about them, Cordy is privy to. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That's why there's always an effort. To not really hurt Kwan. It's not that she bad. It's not that she gonna take her 211 and crack you upside your head. No. It's the knowledge in her head that she know about the Kang. See, Kwan knows a lot about the Kang. So that's why anytime somebody say, we want to interview Kwan. Everybody want to interview Kwan. Oh yeah, we do. Because we know that Kwan has all the cards. Don't she came. We talked and there was no beef. And we were laughing at Jay Wilson, Kelly Love, and Susie. 
try to switch it around. Oh, we were laughing at their supporters. Shonda was laughing at, no, we weren't. We were laughing at them bitches because they was hitting Kwani up. You got any tea? You got any tea on Sean? You got any tea on, on site? <laughs> them the bitches we were laughing at. So y'all could twist it, turn it however y'all want. I never show receipts for anything, and I have plenty. And I just, I should. Because when somebody don't matter to me, they don't matter. I don't give a fuck. I don't think about them. I don't care. But I'm glad Walter Hampton looks like Sean. I'm the last thing you think about before you go to bed, bitch. And I'm the first thing you think about in the morning. You and Susie are just alike. That's why you can't stand her. Because you just like her. You're just like her. But you have a good day. I hope you got the restraining order. Could eat you around here showing paperwork that you don't got the restraining order. Now that would be a big lie. Y'all have a good one. And then let me address you real quick, Sean Bradley, because that video I just did, just saying that one for you. This woman straight said he gay. Ugh. That's your girl, Sean. I tried to tell you. And the only reason I didn't really go all the way here with you because I know how weak you are. That is a snake over there. I didn't know fully all the stuff she had done, but I know she a snake now. And I tell you, Sean Bradley, she a snake and you come for me. And here is the kicker. You tried to do me like you did seven stars and ask me for your donation back? Let me tell you something, sir. Let me tell you something. First of all, when you give something to Five Babe, you need to give it from your damn heart. Because it will never come back to you. Just like I would never sit up here, Sean Bradley, and ask you for all the money I've given you back. That is absolutely ridiculous. That's some whole shit. That's some bitch shit. What type of man does that? It ain't my money. But let you tell it, all of us are concerned about the money. But you sitting on here asking content creators for $50 back? Really? I ain't giving you shit. Now put that in your booty hole and smoke it. I'm not giving you a damn thing. You ashy. So I gotta give you your $50 back. I ain't giving you shit. You lost your damn mind. And see, that's what it's all about. When you try to come between me and Rita, you felt like I'm going to purposely not support Five Babe, even though he had been, quote, unquote, rocking with me. The moment I disagree with him, him and all his trolls purposely decided we're going to go over to Rita's chat and we're going to flood her. That wasn't to support Rita, because if it was, why y'all still ain't supporting her today? That was to smack me in the face. That's what they tried to do. And the shit backfired. Because Rita got her money and you done went somewhere, going on somewhere, getting drugged all across these damn YouTube streets. And Babe Nation is still doing just fine. So what was your purpose? And that's why I checked you before you could come between me and Tracy. Because I know how you are. You a snake, partner. And while you snaking, your people over there snaking the shit out of you. The situation of BS being followed because now I'm completely out of the clear. I had absolutely nothing to do with it. I have proof that I have nothing to do with it. But there were so many different stories that the line came tried to spin to cover them over there. Him, April, and Kwani. And we're going to get to Kwani because Kwani is a wild card, okay, y'all? <laughs> Kwani is a wild card. Don't underestimate Kwani. I'm just saying. But regarding this situation with them following her, I want you guys to see. Because remember I told you guys if there was a lie told about who followed her, child die. Remember I told y'all that if there was um, a lie told about who followed BS, April told it? And that's the absolute truth. So I'm going to show you guys the originating messages regarding that situation. Because when Kwani went on her channel and said that she half did it, um, April was very pissed off. And I'm going to show y'all why. And then you'll understand why they had to spin the narrative the way that they had to. And I'm going to make sure y'all can read it. I'm not going to take it down so you could see it. These were all the messages, and I want to make sure I cover up her phone number. These were all the messages she sent me after she got mad at me. I know you can't see it, but... I'm about to show you what you can. This one is from March 7th. And I don't know if you guys remember when Kwani made her first video saying that she followed VS. But this was around that time. It was March 7th. <clears throat> and what I'm going to show y'all today goes from March 7th through the 27th. But I want y'all to see this. So you can make your own decision based on what you see. I want you to see this. Because what they're trying to say is 
that they had followed BS because of some private investigator. And the reason that I found out is because of my case here in Chicago, which nobody ever reached out to find and said, hey, since you got a case, we're letting the detectives in Virginia know about it and they're gonna follow her and get her information. Nobody ever told me that. But I'm gonna tell you what actually did happen. That GoFundMe money, the, the, um, the, part, the forensics and all of that stuff, that stuff is $250 an hour. So I don't care what nobody got to say about the GoFundMe. Because to do the stuff they claim they did, it costs. And if you think I'm lying, call your local, whoever you need to call, to do a forensic skip trace on somebody. And they're going to tell you it's $250 an hour. And y'all come to me about a $3,000 go. Man, that ain't even, how many hours is that? Like six? This stuff take a long time to do. And I want you to read it for yourself. I'm in the green, she's in the gray. And I'm gonna put it up here so you guys can really read it. It's backwards, so I really can't make everything out. But the day before that, I was saying to her, take it easy. And then she said, you already going in <clears throat> for from the jump, I love it. It wasn't corny. Those pics were from whose heavy hitters? Whose heavy hitters? My heavy hitters. April is admitting those were her heavy hitters. And Sean. Mm -hmm. Her and she ran. Oh, wait. And Sean. But Sean. Look, this is what April is saying. Sean told her and she ran with it. I don't think he knew how she was going to say it, but it's bad. She lied. She's talking about Kwani. She lied to look bad. But what she said was what? Illegal. This is April. She knows that stuff Kwani did was illegal. But since you're admitting that you did it too, you know what you did was damn illegal, April. Because you just said these were your heavy hitters too. Mm-hmm. Then she says, and like I told Sean, can y'all see? And like I told Sean, our heavy hitters might not have wanted that to be out there. These folks got mobs of people. Let me tell you something. I got people right now threatening to come get me. But guess what? If you bad enough to come to Chicago to find me, then you a bad. First of all, half of y'all scared to come to Chicago. So if you got hitters, April and BS that's bad enough to come to Chicago, I show, I won't see it, girl. Because see, this is what they do. She got heavy hitters. They go, this is why Heidi was like, who, 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 April? I'm not messing with you, April. I know, I know your kind. Because they had doxed April. Mm -hmm. And they know how she get down. So she's saying her heavy hitters, the people that did the dirty work, they did not want this information out. So then she says, um, um, might not have wanted that to be out there. They're following that girl. Do you see it in black and white? Do you see it in black and white? Do you see it in black and white? This is in black and white. Have, have wanted that to be out there. They're following that girl. So if it's a private investigator or a detective, why wouldn't that, why can't that be out? Because the stuff I'm doing is highly legal. Highly legal. And as Cookie, Cookie Tookie would say, slightly and politely. <coughs> and like Sean say, we all have heavy, heavy ears. I sure do. There are people, you don't even have to ask nobody for nothing. They find that you beefing with somebody, they send you all kind of information. Me. Okay, now watch this last part that she say. Now they can't because Kwani Big Mouth Ars put her on alert. So she's saying, now VS is going to know we're following her. You know what? I know I don't got it for VS and we're enemies. But this right here, this is not in defense of BS, okay? I'm not doing this in defense of BS. I'm doing this to show my people that care about what's, what really happened to show them Five Babe was not a part of this mess with this following this lady and her child. Now, if there was to be somebody that would get that angry, even though I don't think nothing somebody on YouTube could do to make you that angry to go follow them, but if I was a crazy broad, after she did the stuff she did to me, I would have went did it. But I'm not pressed. But that's what they do. They did. And as far as the... Kwani, I said that on the live. 
I told Quan on the live. You said recordings. I said a voicemail, dumbass, when me and her were arguing on the live. And that she built her whole platform off of lies. So you didn't, you, that didn't work out. And she took credit for what they did. Now, do you see my response? My response is, wow, what a dummy. So if I was at all involved, why would I be like, wow, what a dummy? Okay? Now, I told y'all that was on March 7th. Let me tell you. You see that? March 7th. Okay? Each one is what? I don't care what you say about a detective. I was a practicing paralegal. I know the law. And I know that it ain't what you say. It's what you can prove. And you can show what you want to show. You got to show a pattern. And Kwani or Sean or me didn't show the pictures on social media. You did. And you got a restraining order on her. But CVS don't have no heavy hitters over there no more. So they're not going to even take that and slap you over the head with it. Because if I was there, I would tell her what to do and we'd have got it done. And your paperwork would have been snatched and she ain't have to leave Virginia. But see, she ain't got nothing but some fat dum dums over there and miserable, ugly ass people. So they don't know no better. Kwani called me herself. Now I got to give to that motherfucker. I talk shit about her, but that motherfucker ain't never scared. That bitch called me and said hello. And I said hello, and she did her laugh. She bust out in her laugh. Because I'm like, why she calling me? She bust out in her laugh, and she said, really, bitch? Really, bitch? I'm a drunk bitch. She, and I'm just like, Kwani, don't start that bullshit. You called me and left me a voicemail cussing me the fuck out about some bullshit we had done already talked about. By what somebody told you. She was like, April, 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 April. I said, you hurt my motherfucking feelings. She said, well, I ain't mean to hurt your feelings. But didn't I tell you about five, babe? I said, yes, you did. Yes, you did tell me. And I should have listened. You did. Y'all got played. Sean and Kwani and me weren't beefing. We just wanted the idiots that wanted to wish bad on Vegas, wish bad that was gonna be bad, that everything was gonna go wrong. Not our club chat, which everybody's mad at club chat because we got money. Everybody mad at club chat because we loving on each other. Show the receipts from your GoFundMe. Because the next Sunday after you did the GoFundMe, you was in the mall shopping for your daughter's Disney World trip in May. For a bathing suit. I was like, ain't it cold in Chicago? This is for me. Hmm. 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 Good job. But do, a fa do me a favor and show my husband's text message to you. You really thought you were the only one, poor baby. And you really thought he was trying to holler at you. Really, bitch. In my corny voice. And you look like a whole fool, a whole fool. My babies came out the woodwork on that ass. And even Sean, oh, uh, he might be want to fuck me too because he showed Sean, Sean one and Sean called me and cussed me out while I was sick. <laughs> you hold a record for that. You want to be famous, Shalina? Shalina, that is the record you have. For trying to accuse somebody's husband of warning you and talking to you and getting showed that you a whole lie and a stupid ass bitch. Sorry. So go and make your videos. Talk about my voice. I'm still a bad bitch. I'm still fine and sexy. And my titties sit up. And guess.